Yeah, Des. Yeah, Des. <laughs> Put a filter in your nose, Frida. This is for all you parents who forget the filter. Okay, guys, we are <clears throat> literally tomorrow is technically the first day of lambing season because that's five months from the time that they went in with the ram. So we have been prepping for lambing season all week um, and we thought it would be fun to show you a little twist on a video because you know how women do or they ask like what's in what's in your hospital bag what did you take to the hospital and there's lists all over Pinterest and there's uh, YouTube videos based on based on it and we just thought it would be really fun and funny to show you what we pack into our lambing bag to take up to the barn. But first, we're actually gonna sh um, make a couple of lambing coats while we chat with you guys about a couple things. And so, yeah, a lambing coat. A lambing coat is used for um, after, you know, the mom has cleaned the baby all up. She's, you know, started to get the scent. Uh, we like to put these lambing coats on them, keep them warm, and um, they seem to like them too. So, if you're from our old town and you find some crazy pants or crazy sweatshirts that are either cotton or like sweater material, or stretchy material. We can't use like like knitted fabrics or anything like 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 actually knitted or crocheted fabrics like with the strings in it because once we cut it it would just unravel. But if you find any kind of you know pants or anything like that that you think would look super cute on our lambs, send it to us. Or make your own lamb coat. Tag us in it on Facebook so we can see it and then send it to us and we'll feature it on one of our babies. Make one up yourself. Get my address from my mom or message us on Facebook. Okay, so we just went to Goodwill and we found some sweatshirts. Sweatshirts and old sweatpants um, that had arm holes and leg holes with these cuffs on them um so we can make lambing coats lambing coats out of them mariah did try to find the ugly christmas sweaters but they were all taken already so that'd be so cute to put lambs in ugly christmas sweaters. it would be adorable i tend to go for like size large sweaters and size large um, sweatpants. It just seems to work out better that way. But we can always use some that are smaller. And we can always use some that are bigger. Okay, so we're taking 16 inches off of the arm or the leg of a sweatshirt or a sweatpant. They have to have this little cuff around here, okay? Then, we're going up about two, two and a half inches. We're drawing two little lines, just kind of guesstimate. You obviously need, like, the front arm to be shorter than the back arm because the back arm holds, like, a hip. I sliced them open, okay? And now what I'm going to do, see like this? I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to fold it in half the other way. So you can see all four of the slits. And I'm going to cut up this seam here. Seam. So the arm holes and leg holes. And I'm going to cut up this seam. I'm just going to cut right along it. All the way up to about an inch and a half. 
to two inches from yes, the cuff. And the reason we do that is because if we have boys, they have to pee from the bottom. And we don't want them to pee on the coats. See, so now you have this opening. It's so cute. It's, it's the new fad. It's a sleeveless sweatshirt. It's where your chest is it's cold. But your arms don't get cold. Right, we're going to do a tilt instead of a bag because here's our tilt. It's so cute. And it's got a yellow lid. It's not cute. It's functional. It looks, it looks It's manly. Cute. Okay. And it's just really small. Stop blocking my face. Okay. So first thing, in our lambing bag. Tote. Lambing tote. Bag. Okay. Is gloves. Is gloves. Because gross. Right? Just, <laughs> just in case we have to assist any use on um, her birthing. She's not sitting still. We have some extra halters uh, just so we don't have to rummage around and try and find one up in the barn. We, we, we have, have some in our there, kit. It's good to have extra things. Next we have some hand sanitizer. Um, it's just... Keep us clean. Okay, so next we have some mineral oil. If you do have to help you out, uh, this is, comes in really handy. You're able to, you know, loop your hands up and get in there to, uh, out. you know, whether the baby's coming backwards or if there's only one leg coming out or if it's head first, no legs. Um, so this is, comes in handy. Things that are like right there within our reach. We can grab them out real quick and we don't have to run up to the house and grab them. Next, we have a, lamb, a leg snare. So this is to help in case you have to pull a lamb, you know, if they're too big. Sometimes they can get stuck or, you know, if the leg U is too small, just a couple of different things can happen. So we have this just in case we have to, we have a hard pull. Um, this will come in really handy. Next, we have some towels. My mom bought these when I was uh, probably in high school and they have lasted many lambing years and they are red for obvious reasons. And they're just really nice to be able to get in there, you know, if mom's not cleaning them off quick enough or if she's already starting to have another one, those lambings can get really cold really quickly. So, uh, rub them off and then also to help get, you know, their heartbeats going, you know, pumping them up, getting them... Get the blood moving. Feisty. Feisty. Okay, next, we have a turkey baster. <laughs> Sorry, it's so funny the second time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <sighs> we uh, have a turkey baster, and we have a, an older one uh, that has really good plastic on it. Uh, it's, it's a soft rubber. A soft rubber. Ball. Because it won't get hard um, when we're cold. up in the barn, when it's cold, and we're able to get in their mouth and get that mucus out, get any of that <clears throat> amniotic fluid or that sac. Get that out of their mouth so they can get breathing good so that way they're ready to get up on their feet. The first things to remember when you are processing your sheep after they're born, after mom has given has been given, you know, yeah, ample time. time to sniff her baby, lick her baby, it is your turn to do a couple things. So first things first, we're gonna clip the umbilical cord about an inch and a half to two inches from the belly, so from the navel. Teat dipper. Okay, and our triodine. Next, we're going to strip. This means that we are going to strip the teats. We're going, um, in sheep and in goats, they have these little wax plugs in their teats, and you have to sort of milk them in order to break that wax plug up and get it out of there. We have multiple lambs. Um, we're bringing up some yarn. Yarn. Um, this will be able, you know, if we have twins or triplets, you know, sometimes 
it's hard to tell who's who. I mean, especially for Owen, because he still doesn't know who's I who up in the bar. I can't get their names right. But um, this will ensure that, you know, we know who's who. You want to weigh your lambs after they're born. So we have a weigh sling. Okay. Ah. And they sit in here just like this. And you, and you weigh them with this. This is a, a, fish scale. a little fish scale. Some syringes and some needles to go into our bag. Then we have our chart book. Our chart book. So we just picked up this billing book um, from Walmart. And it has like graph paper on it. This is what we'll be using to Keep track record. Of this is what we'll be using to record who had who and how much, how much each lamb weighed. weighed and you know when they've been dark doctored and so on and so forth. So that's a really important piece. Next we'll have our lambing coats that we just made. We're really excited about mm -hmm. them. A pocket knife because might need it. You never know. So next we have a nose Frida. Now when I was lambing with my parents we just used a regular old ball sucker. sucker. From like the doctor, the blue ones that you get. Yeah. Books but we thought down. that this might be better. Um, we have two of them, so we're going to try it. <laughs> so we're going to stick it in the lambing kit. Just yes, in case. we will change the filter. No, it's not any grosser than if you were sucking up boogers. We're going to try it. Okay. And we're going to make gonna sure work. there's a filter in there, Desiree. <laughs> Yeah, Des. Yeah, Des. Put a filter in your nose, Frida. This is for all you parents who forget the filter. That's finished with our lambing kit. So when we see a ewe that's in labor, we're going to take that kit up to the barn. Everything will be readily available for us. We also have a pen and a marker in there, uh, you know, just because. And, you know, you never know what you might need. So we are technically in lambing season. So... I just want to put a disclaimer out there. If everything goes as planned, our next vlog should be a, a lamb being bull. born. Okay? Now, we just wanted to put a little bit of a disclaimer, and we will on the beginning of the other videos too, that we are going to be recording um, the lambing. Like, if we're up there for it and we see it and we're watching it, we want you guys to see it too. So, we will be recording from all angles and um you know our steps and our process throughout the whole thing we probably won't cut a lot of it out so we wanted to just let you guys know that if you wanted to maybe viewer discretion advised our kids will be experiencing it we have no problem with it but we know that some people um it's natural right we know that some people you know don't want their kids to see that obviously you know yet or anything like that so um, we try to keep this a really family friendly video. So we just wanted to let you guys know that we will be doing that. There will be blood, there will be nastiness, um, but it's all part of the process and we really want to share it with you guys. So just putting that out there, a disclaimer, yep. oh, by grossness the way, if ahead. If you did like the video, we hope that you'll subscribe and like it. Uh, like we said, it's really um, fun for us to keep doing this for you guys. So um, we want to know if you guys are liking it. And the only way we know is if you guys respond and um, let us know. Yeah. So, hey guys, I think that's it for tonight. So we're going to cut it off. We will see you in our next vlog. We're really excited. We hope that you join us in our living season. Yay! I think you and Owen learned a lot tonight. <laughs> yeah. I was here more for the experience. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you soon, okay? Bye!